Hello friends! Two days in a row, who am I? I'm just kidding. I missed going consistently live and I know you guys have too. So hopefully we can get back in our groove, although we leave soon. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments, which is reahopebeauty.com. So everything you're about to see is gonna be available right there. So make sure that when you are shopping, you're shopping there. And if you guys have any questions or need any help or picking out any makeup or anything like that, just message me and I would be thrilled to help you. So while we wait for everybody to pop on, I'm also gonna share this to my other pages. I have one called Beauty by Rhea Hope, and then I have another one called Rhea Hope, and then I have my personal Facebook page, which is just Rhea Coleman. So make sure you're following on each of those places because I always post like different things in each place. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Yeah, I did a, um, a current house update on my Instagram story um, last night. So if you want to see like what's up with the house, um, you can check it out there, but it's cruising along. Today we're making really big strides in the kitchen. They're doing um, the backsplash. So I'm excited to show you guys. I think the plastic is officially coming down, um, which I am so happy about because it's really annoying. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I'll give you guys another update when they are all done for the day. Um, so I apologize if it's like loud or anything, but they work in. Hey, hey girl, hey. So when you do pop on, let me know where you're watching from. If this is your first time um, seeing one of my makeup tutorials, I want you to hashtag newbie in the comments so I can welcome you and everybody else can. I love this like sisterhood that we have going on on these lives. And yeah, they're really a lot of fun. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of my lives, it's super duper easy. <coughs> All you have to do is um, to opt into my texting subscribe. Um, I'm gonna post it right here so you can see it. You will text Raya Hope, all one word. Let me put it, Raya Hope, all one word, to the phone number, like a text message, 25456. Kind of catchy. Raya Hope to 25456, and that'll opt you in um, to be able to get um, my notifications. I just tell you when I'm going live, basically, or if there's like a killer deal. I don't like bombard you, I don't bother you. So, um, yeah. But hello from New York, awesome, and driving home, wonderful, be careful. Um, okay, so right now I'm just kind of shaking up my Liquid Touch foundation. It's so important to make sure that you're shaking this up. Today we're just gonna do like my everyday makeup routine. Um, I have a fun try-on to do here in a little bit, so I just am doing my makeup for that basically. Gotta look presentable. Um, so if you love try-ons, make sure that you are sticking around here on Facebook in a little bit, so I will be doing that um, like really, really soon as soon as we're done basically here. And I also have a unboxing scheduled today to do on Facebook with my favorite company, Fancy, the one that makes all the mirrors. Um, so if you're new around here, I always use this one. This is called the Gala. Um, it's by, like I said, a company called Fancy. And I love it because it has like all your storage and it turns, it swivels, has white LED light. Um, and then it has like a little magnification here, which is really cool too. But I have an unboxing scheduled with them today and I'm really excited to show you what I'm gonna be opening. So stick around for that too. I'm gonna be like on Facebook, like back to back to back. So it's a good day, lots of Raya. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jean, I appreciate you. Okay, so now my liquid touch is ready. Open that, and now I'm gonna grab my dirty brush. You guys, I still haven't washed my brushes. I need to get my life together. So dirty, don't judge me. Um, so we're gonna use the powder concealer brush for today's application, and this is basically just gonna pop it on really quickly. So I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna start throwing on our liquid touch. The liquid touch foundation is really great for full coverage and full fast coverage. It's really good for oily to normal skin. If you have dry skin, pause. Um, I would recommend either the stick foundation, the BB Flawless, or you can mix your BB Flawless with the Liquid Touch to be able to get away with using it. Um, but it's incredible. As you see, it gives amazing, quick, fast coverage. And I love applying it with this brush because it just applies it so quickly and so evenly. And again, this is called the Powder Concealer Brush. Unique's brushes are so good. They're worth every single penny. I have not had to replace any of my brushes, and I've been with the company almost four years. That's crazy, right? Four years? Nuts. Aw, thanks, Laura. <laughs> you're so sweet. Yes, yeah, so you're going to text Rhea Hope, all one word, not Rhea 
Raya of Hope, just Raya Hope. And that's the phone number you're going to text like on your cell phone. So not here on Facebook. So you're going to open up your cell phone when you're not watching me. And you're going to go to your text messages. Like you're going to text your mom, hey, I'm on my way. Um, but instead of texting your mom, you're going to text that phone number. So someone who has hot flashes, I would recommend to do a combination. So BB Flawless and Liquid Touch or the Liquid Touch with a hydrating finish like the Rose Water would be really good. Um, but you're going to want to make sure that you set your makeup really well, which I'm going to go over that here in a second. Uh, Charla, Carla, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Terrible. Terrible at reading. <laughs> um, but I'm going to kind of go over what to use if you do have hot flashes or if you work in an environment where it's really like oily or humid or anything like that. So now I'm going to take just a little bit more on my fingers and just pop this on all over. I'm using the shade Lace. I clean my makeup brushes with this laundry detergent bar. It's a Hispanic laundry detergent. Where are my blending buds? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I left them in Rice's room. Hey, Ryan. Technical difficulties. I left my make my blending buds in Rice's room on her. Can you go grab them for me? Yeah. They're on her little nights. They're on whatever. I'll find them. <laughs> the name of the foundation. Sorry, I guess I have time to read comments. The name of the foundation is the Liquid Touch Foundation, uh, or Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation. It's the technical name, but you can find it actually on sale right now in the collection, which is called Ready Set Prep. If you go to my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com, and then you go to Sets and Collections, you'll be able to find this in a in a collection. You get the foundation, the concealer, the setting spray or primer, and a blush, plus a free bag, and it ships for free. It's 30% savings right now, only for the month of January. So we are like ticking on the end of that. So don't miss out on that collection. If you've been wanting to like try this makeup, but don't want to like break the bank, it, they're on her little kitchen set. Okay. They look like what you have. Oh my God. They're no. sitting in front of me. I know. They're not in there. Yeah. I know. They're right here. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> um, but yes, so like I was saying, that collection is the best way to um, try the makeup without breaking the bank. The whole collection is only $115, and you get the foundation, concealer, setting spray or primer, and the blush of your choice, and it's fully customizable. Um, I'm sorry, I'm the dirt to dirt today. But uh, yeah, it's fully customizable. So you pick the blush, you pick the foundation color, you pick the concealer color, and if you're not sure what colors to get, which I know, buying makeup online can be a little intimidating, but that's why you got me. Um, just send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. I'll tell you what to get, what colors to grab, um, what blush would look good with your complexion, all of the above. Yes, Malibu bronzer will be coming back. I'm not sure on the date though. So do you use powder concealer brush with the liquid, but the kabuki brush with the stick? Correct. Actually with the stick foundation, I use my blending buds. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Um, so now that we have our foundation fully on, now we're gonna go in with our concealer. And this is like so important if you want super full coverage or if you have really bad dark circles. So we're just gonna grab it on our finger and we're gonna warm up that complex or warm up the consistency so it blends really easy. Senior moment, I know. I turned, I turned 31 last month and now I'm just like all over the place. <laughs> all right, so now we're just gonna wipe off some of that because I used a little too much. But we're using the shade Organza in our Skin Perfecting Concealer, which also comes in that collection. So now we're gonna use the smaller blending buds and I always am getting questions on coverage. Like really, I want good coverage, I wanna look like a porcelain doll or I have sunspots, acne scars, whatever the case may be. Like number one most important thing for coverage are these blending buds. They are so important with getting your makeup to look super airbrushed and really flawless because they're being super intentional on how you're applying your makeup. So you're placing the makeup in a place rather than just kind of buffing it all over and on top. So it's placing it in there. So like uh, someone asked before if they're having hot flashes or if you have really large pores or if you find that your makeup just doesn't sit on your skin very well, Blending Buds by Unique are crucial. They're so good. They're like game changers. No, no joke. And they're only $17 and you get two of them. I've had these for almost 18 months. 
Aw, thanks, Deborah. And if you aren't into makeup, like if you're still learning and you want to kind of ease into it, I can give you a recommendation that's for you, that's tailored to your date, you know, what your preferences are. If you don't like full coverage, then I'm not going to recommend full coverage to you. I'm going to recommend something very light, something very easy, very quick. So it just goes off what you want. So just message me and I can give you a full recommendation on what would be best for you. Yay, I'm so glad to be back. Okay, so now I'm taking the Touch Bowl Translucent Setting Powder and we're gonna be baking with it, which is essentially just taking a lot of the product and putting it all, all over your skin. So someone asked about hot flashes. This is what's gonna save you. This is going to be incredible for your hot flashes. Instead of your sweat or the humidity or grease if you're working around food, pushing against your liquid foundation and making it come off, look super oily, any of the above, it's going to absorb into the setting powder. Now you don't need to use a ton of it like I am. I naturally have really oily skin, so I go hog wild with this, but you don't necessarily have to. You can use a light brush and just kind of dust it on. It's totally personal preference how you want to apply it. All right, so now I'm going to take my fan brush and this is my favorite way to remove it because it's so gentle. And we're just going to fan this away just like so. Just sweep, sweep, sweep. Turns her spot on. She knows her products. Thanks, Donna. For some reason, I have no sound. Hmm. I don't know. Does anyone else, can anyone else not hear me? What's best for combo skin? Combo skin, I would recommend either the BB Floss and Liquid Mixed or the Liquid Touch with the pressed powder. Just send me a message and I can give you a recommendation for you. So I'm not like guessing. I for you to go live. Yes, I know. I used to go live almost every single day before we moved, but just with all the transitions, it's been really hard. But now that we are unpacked, um, I will be definitely going live much more frequently right here where you see me. All right, so now I'm going to take my pressed powder, and this is in the shade Scarlet. This is the lightest shade we have, and I'm going to use it for highlighting, but I'm also going to be using it to prevent my under eyes from creasing. Who else out there has under eyes that crease? There's nothing that I hate more than them creasing and being like, no! Oh, it's so annoying. Um, so now I'm going to take my fan brush and just sweep away. So what I was getting at was this pressed powder acts as almost like cement for your under eye. It's going to fill in all those little tiny gaps so your concealer or your under eyes aren't going to be cracking. Um, but again, if you have dry skin, you might want to skip one or both of the steps of using the setting powder or the mineral touch powder. You can kind of tailor it to you. Like I said, I have oily skin, so I can get away with using all the powder. Um, but message me and I will help you. So I don't think I'll be able to go live from the cruise just because I've heard that the Wi-Fi is going to be kind of spotty. Um, but maybe I will try. To, I'll try to. Do you put the setting powder on for highlighting? Exactly, Vanessa. So I can do that for highlighting, and I also do it to set my under eyes. What is horrible, Kelly? Should I mean to react? Oh, you're all good. Um, what do you use for lines under your eyes? So that's what I actually do to prevent the, eye, the lines under there. But skincare, honestly, is the biggest thing I could recommend for under eye creases. Um, so if you're experiencing your under eyes creasing a ton, Definitely make sure that you're using my under eye recipe. It's incredible. I used to have really, 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 really bad dark circles to the point where if I wasn't wearing makeup, people would be like, are you okay? <laughs> like, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, so, and I thought I was like stuck with them. I always was like, oh, I'll never be able to have under eyes where you don't need color correctors or you're always going to see them or whatever. And it wasn't until I started using Unique skincare did I... Um, Oh, creases. Yeah. So it wasn't until I started using the skincare that I really started to see a difference with my under eyes. So if you experience, those, experience really bad puffiness or creasing or dark circles, message me today and I'm going to give you my, my concoction for your under eyes. So now I'm using that same product, the Mineral Touch Press Powder. So same thing, but this is in the shade Taffeta and we're, I'm using a gigantic Kabuki brush and we are going to just set everywhere. So like I said, I'm really oily. So this is going to absorb any oil that's pushing against my skin. It's also going to even out my coverage. So my under eye won't look super duper bright. It'll look very melted, very blended. So you can't really notice. 
So message me for the link to this brush. I swear by applying your pressed powder with a kabuki brush, one, it makes your pressed powder last longer because you're using less product because you're making it last even longer. But two, it applies it very like airbrushed, very soft and gentle on your skin. And I'm telling you, even my ladies who are cactus dry can use this pressed powder. It is the softest, most like gentle airbrush pressed powder I have ever used in my life. If you have dry skin and you use this, I want to hear. Tell me in the comments. Okay, so now that we've done that, now it's time to contour our face. So I'm going to kind of clean up around here. Okay. This desk isn't like the biggest, so I have to... Plus, I'm a little OCD. <laughs> Anyone else feel me? All right, so now for contouring. Love the closet. Thank you so much. I know. I have. I always say this, or like before, um, when I started my unique business, I had a vision board. And on my vision board, I had this closet, and I had my dream car, and I had my dream house, and I was going to work my butt off until I had it all. And check, check. I'm so excited. Like, I... It's, it's still so unreal. Like I still wake up every morning. I'm like, is this real life? Like I owe it all to Jesus Christ. Can't do anything without him. Pour the pressed powder over the liquid and I have dry skin. Yes, Brittany, I love it. Love the powder, I'm 63. Rule of the rest powder. See, preach ladies, preach. All right, so now we're gonna do some contouring. So beach from bronzer in the shade Hermosa. And we're gonna use the tapered blusher brush. And I swear by this brush, who out there is afraid of contouring? Who out there thinks I can't do that? It looks crazy. This brush, I'm telling you, whoever is thinking that is the reason that you're gonna be able to do it. I promise you. So tapered blusher brush, it's the perfect amount of tapered, it's the perfect amount of fluff, everything about it is perfection. You're gonna take it from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth and you're going to follow the natural jawline, this line right here, and you can make a fishy face if you wanna find out where that is, but you're basically just going to take that brush and go back and forth, and then turn it, and then swirl over it, and that is going to soften that line up so it looks very blended. Work long-term home, the temperature is always hot. So, um, Helen, you're gonna love the uh, rose water and also the setting powder. I'm going to my face. Uh, to look thin, Christy, start taking notes, notes, girlfriend. This is really gonna make a life, going to make a makeup changing experience for you. I was gonna say life changing, but contouring is life changing. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. These are all. Thank you, Rebecca. You're so sweet. Okay, so contoured one side, and that was very like light contouring for me. But I want to show you the difference versus contour versus no contour. See how this side of my face look, looks a little bit washed out, looks a little bit more round versus this side, really kind of defines my cheekbones, makes my under eye look brighter, makes my cheek look more plump and like draws your attention to my bone structure. See the difference? For jawline, you're just going to simply follow the natural jawline. And if you're a little bit older and you're experiencing some droopage around your jawline, um, contouring here will make it look like it's higher up. So we're kind of playing around with lighting. So if your contour feels like it's too dark, try swirling in the cap and tapping some off. That will help. And you can also go down in a shade too, depending on what color you're using. I'm using Hermosa, which is like the middle shade, but there is a shade called Sunset and that's the lightest shade. So for your forehead, you're just gonna kind of follow your hairline and you're just gonna do the temples and then I just kind of like bring it down. I don't really go beneath my eyebrow line, but it's all personal preference. But you're essentially gonna think a three and an E. Grapefruit in the larger size. I know they only do the rose waters in the smaller ones. Thank you. Okay, so now for the other side. See that difference? Contouring, you guys. Swear by it. All right, same thing. Top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. Back and forth. And then turn. And then you're going to soften that up. Now you can do as bold or as not bold as you want. It's all personal preference. I love good bold contour so I go in whoop, pulled my earring out most people do this without earrings <laughs> all right so now for your nose so easy you're just going to grab the brush and squeeze and then you're just gonna run it down 
the sides of your nose. And then if you want a more pouty bottom lip, you could just simply follow the underneath. Wherever you want to look like thinner or create a shadow kind of makes it look like that. Okay, so now, where do I wanna put this bronzer? I'll just put it there. Okay, for blush, my favorite, 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 favorite blush is the shade Sisterly. And we're using just the normal blusher brush and we're gonna smile and you're gonna tap this on the apple of your cheek working closer to the hairline. So it's essentially gonna go um, highlight, blush, bronzer and don't be afraid of overlapping it. It's totally fine to overlap it because we all have different shapes of our face. But I love this blush and here's why. Look at how it totally like illuminates my skin. Doesn't that just give you this really healthy, beautiful glow? Isn't that amazing for a blush? I'm not like a huge blush girl. I don't like to feel like a clown or like I'm like stamping my face with pink. So this color, Sisterly is the name of this. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that so good? And this also comes in that collection, Ready, Set, Prep. So you can pick this color. So again, that co collection is only around for this month. It's only 115, so it's a full 30% off. You're gonna get foundation, concealer, blush, the free makeup bag, and free shipping. Free, 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 free. <laughs> so good. Okay, even if you already have this, I would stock up, get your summer shade, get your spring shade, whatever it may be. Um, stock up on it since it's on killer sale. All right, so now for highlight, now that we have our blush on. Okay, so now we're gonna do the Touch Luma Luminizer, this guy right here. And this is in the shade Pearly. It's this really gorgeous kind of rosy gold. And I'm just gonna grab that on my finger. For my mature ladies, you're gonna want the cream to powder. It doesn't accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles as much as the powder would. So you're gonna really love this. So this is how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna just kind of swirl on your finger and then you're just going to kind of tap it on the highest parts of your cheekbone or wherever you want highlighted. So just this area. This is also really gorgeous if you're not wearing any makeup at all and you just kind of want a little bit of pop, a little bit of mascara and a highlight, maybe a little bit of blush or contour really makes your skin look very glowy and dewy. So on the days that I don't wear any makeup, I'll wear a little bit of mascara and this guy and maybe some lip gloss and it makes it look like I feel dulled up and it makes my skin look very healthy and very glowy. So that's a little trick for you for my no makeup girls. Yes, I know, right? I'm totally that type too, where I'm like, just in case. Uh, so acne scars, which highlight do I need? You'll still like the cream. So this one is called the Cream to Powder um, Touch a La Mode Luminizer. It's gonna be under highlight on my website. And again, all this makeup I'm using, everything is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. If I'm not live, doing my makeup takes like, mm, maybe like 25 minutes. You'll have all the makeup you'll have. You'll have to do that makeup trail for us. Uh, which one? Oh, like the like the every or like the no makeup makeup. I could definitely do that. Put that on my to do list. Still got the cruise. Yes, I'm so excited for the cruise. I've actually been on one when I was like 11, but I don't really remember it. And I was actually one of the top earners for the cruise, so we get this like really big sweet on it. So I'm like, well, this is pretty good for not ever being on a cruise. I think we get a balcony. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Come with me. Everyone hop in my suitcase. Okay, so now for brows. I'm sorry, I just like like cruised through that step. I just took the Touch of the Mode Luminizer, but powder form in the same shade Pearly. And I just kind of dusted it over where I used the cream just to cling it on and really kind of accentuate the highlight. So it just kind of makes ups the ante a little bit on your uh, contour. They're so fun. Oh, I'm excited. Do the shows and the games. Okay, I will. Anyone else have any tips for the cruise? Holler out in the comments. All right, so now for brows, I'm just gonna use my lash brow comb to comb through them. Don't judge them. I need them waxed so bad. So this one is gonna look different from this one. Just warning you. And now I am just combing through my lashes to get any um, twisted hairs move in the right direction so my mascara will look even better. If you don't have the lash brow comb, definitely snag it. It makes a world of difference. Okay, so now we're gonna use the brow pencil in the shade medium. And this is my favorite product for doing my brows. Um, just cause it's fast, it's easy. If you are lucky enough to have brow hair, um, 
this product is the best to use just because it's fast and easy but if you have really sparse eyebrows or no eyebrows at all i would recommend a few things for you so you're gonna want the esteem lash serum it's gonna be under lashes on my website it's only 24 bucks and you're gonna use it on your eyebrows and your lashes of course but if you use it on your eyebrows sorry if i paused i think i paused um, so this actually is not an island. It's just two dressers from Ikea and I pushed them together and then I had our counter guy make a countertop for it. Drink package for show. Take medicine. Okay, good, 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 good. The cruise, I've never been on the deployment for the Navy. <laughs> You're like, this is not the same as a cruise. Nancy, message me and I can give you the link to my launch account or my launch website. It's the only way I get credit. And I can give you the current codes to get you all the discounts. Drink package, all right. Drink package it is. If you've met my husband, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need that drink package. <laughs> um, okay, what was I saying? Okay, a steam lash serum, that's what I was talking about. If you have really sparse eyebrows, definitely grab that and start using it at night. It makes your lashes and your eyebrows grow. And then for product wise to fill in your brows so you don't like break the bank with having to buy your brow pencil over and over, because if you don't have brows and you're using this fully to draw it on, you're going to fly through this, being totally honest. What you're going to want is called the Brow Obsession Palette. Same area as the brows, comes with two powders, and you're going to want the Brow Artist Brush. So those two things together um, to do your eyebrows really makes a big difference. You're going to get the same idea, same look, and you're going to, like skill-wise, do it the same way. So I basically just outline and color in, just like that. Follow the natural shape and direction of my brows, just like that. Easy peasy. Take a Yeti and a straw. Yes, I did buy straws because I heard that the bow is like anti-straws. Uh, get seasick patches. Oh, that's a good idea. I am bringing Dremamine. I think that's what it's called. And then I heard that if you do get sick, they have like a doctor on board that can come give you a shot. My mom took a cruise not that long ago and got really sick with seasickness and she got that shot. She was totally fine, like same day. Drink package for sure, absolutely. All right, so now I'm using the eyeliner in the shade Perfect and I love this eyeliner one, it's only $15. I've seriously had this thing for like two years. It lasts forever, um, but I love it because it's creamy, it glides on, actually stays where you put it. It doesn't build up in your tear ducts. There's nothing I despise more than when it's like all chunky in there, you know? C-bands, yes, I think my mom has some of those. C-band bracelets were good. I buy them at Walgreens. Okay, good. Keep a mental note of that. All right, so now for a super duper easy, very simple eye look. So all my working ladies, you'll really like this eye look, I think, um, just because it's super simple, really, really fast. Um, I need my brush, which is right here, and then I need my other brush which are right here, okay. All right, we good. Actually, I need one more brush. I need to find that one. I, keep, I lost a brush in the move. <laughs> Love it, because it never smudges. Exactly, yes, absolutely. C-bands, okay, good. C-bands it is. All right, so now I'm gonna take this guy right here. First off, if you guys don't have this yet, put that on your to-do list. Kids just pulled up in the golf cart. Um, this guy right here, this is the palette from Unique, obviously, um, and it holds all of your pressed powders. It can hold 25 of them, which is so awesome. So it goes like that and it's magnetized, also has a cute little mirror, um, and it's sold underneath refillable palettes on my website. It's amazing to hold all of your stuff. So I'm going to use this color right here, which is the shade Gingerly, and I'm going to use it on my fluffy crease brush. I always swirl on the cap. And then I'm just going to dust this in the crease as my transition shade. And I always like swirl in this outside corner and then I bring it in like this. Now, if you have hooded eyes, this is the trick. You're gonna wanna make sure that your eyes are open while you're doing this step. At least, even if it's just a little bit, just still have them open makes a really big difference. The weather where I live is, I think it's like 74 today. Also never got seasick, but Bonnie wants to me. Okay, good to know. He only had one electric outlet, so you can find something to plug in that gives you more outlets. That would be great. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, good, good, good. Try to stay in your room for too long. You should people feel sick in the rooms. Okay. I've been on several cruises and never could tell if I was even on a boat. Ooh, I like that. All right, so same thing over here. 
And then when you're doing it, you're going to think this little phrase, rainbow, rainbow, zigzag. And by thinking that, it's going to help you blend out the product so you don't have to blend it out later. So another tip, tip two, if you feel like your eyeshadow always looks too dark or not blended well enough, the other trick, one, make sure you grab unique uh, brushes. It makes a huge difference. And then two, hold it towards the back. When you're this close, you're going to make it look much more intense and it's going to be harder to blend out versus if you're holding it towards the back of the brush. It really makes a huge difference on how uh, blended and how soft it looks on your skin. So many here in Arizona. Nice. I'm in uh, San Diego. All right. So same thing over here. We're just going to dust it. It's snowing. Oh my gosh. We had a wind chill. Of, oh my goodness. Mine is 18. No, thank you. Come to San Diego. I'll share my sun with you. Okay, so now that we have that, now we're going to do the rest of the eye. Super duper easy. We're going to use this guy right here. This is called the Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Ornate. And I am in love with these. They make eyeshadow so fast, so mindless, so easy. So you're just going to take this and you're going to apply on the center. Work towards the front. Work towards the back. Stay close to your eyelash. Just like that. Don't open your eye all the way. Grab your cream brush by Unique, and then you're gonna use this guy to blend it out. I love these liquid eyeshadows because they're smudge proof. You heard me, smudge proof. So if you have oily eyelids or you have a lot of creasing in your eyelids, you're gonna love these liquid shadows. They're so easy to use and we're done. That's it. Now you have this gorgeous bronzy eye that looks like you spent hours on it when really it took no time at all. Same thing on this side. And again, this shade is called Ornate. But you can't go wrong with any of those shades. They're all very stunning. And again, if you need help picking out any colors, just let me know. All right, and then cream brush. And then center. And then I just kind of very light-handedly spread it out and it's very fast drying so you don't have to be worried like oh I can't open my eyes because <laughs> you can't you're good you good girl same thing but I really like this brush for it, it just helps it helps a lot all right and then I just take my fluffy crease brush one more time and just go over the crease and it just blends it out a little that's it. We're done. We done. Okay. And then last thing is I'm going to take this brush right here. Um, I usually use my liner shader brush, but that's the one I can't find. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the shade uh, gullible and just grab that on there. And then we're going to dust this along the bottom lash line just to give it more of like a cohesive finished look. So just underneath, drag it towards the front. Same thing over here. Drag towards the front. Just like that. And like I said, it just kind of completes the eye look, brings it all together. No worries, glad you're here. What are good colors for brown eyes? Pinks are really pretty on brown eyes. Um, oh gosh, so many. Message me a selfie and I can give you a recommendation on what colors to use. Any color but purple and pinks are really good. Yes, 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 yes. You guys are good. I need to try the liquid eyeshadows. They're so good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. All right, so now we're going to set our makeup and then I'm going to finish it. So now I'm going to take my Touch Bold Setting Spray. And the reason that we set it before we're like actually done is because instead of making my um, lashes more wet after the fact that I do my mascara, if I sp spray beforehand, I'm not making my mascara like even more wet. So if you experience transfer of your mascara and it's like so annoying, feel you on that. So try setting your makeup before you're actually finished. I'm using the blush in the shade Sisterly today. Um, for eyeshadow recommendations, message me and I can give you um, some ideas for palettes. But it's easier if you message me. Bye Melissa, thank you. My favorite mascara would be the 4D for sure. 
Love my pinks and greens. Yes. Okay, so now for our lashes. So my ladies who have straight, stubby little lashes, this guy is what you want to pick up today. This is the Lash Primer. Not only hydrates your lashes, which in turn helps them to grow, but it also has this property in it that helps it to curl. So applying from the base of the lash all the way up, and it's also going to help give you even more length and volume to your lashes. So one coat of that from the base of the lash all the way up is all you need. And then you're gonna immediately go in with the 4D mascara. And this gives all the length, all the volume. So this actually has the um, fibers and the gel both infused in it. So it has dual bristles on it. So the shorter bristles have the fibers, the longer bristles have the gel. So no longer do you have to worry about the fibers falling out all over the place. So if you have really sensitive eyes, if you have um, short, stubby little lashes, you're gonna love this mascara. It's incredible. So I kind of like blink onto the wand to kind of like force my lashes down onto it. And then I always kind of squint and then just kind of graze the back sides of it, just like that. Look at that. They're literally touching my eyebrows. Yes, it's very easy to take off. You're gonna wanna grab the uh, cleansing stick. It's gonna be under cleansers on my website, so rayahopebeauty.com. Under the skincare option, you're gonna go to cleansers, and you're gonna wanna grab the cleansing stick. You just massage it over your eye. It removes all mascara, all eyeshadows, waterproof, you name it. It takes it off like butter and it also doesn't pull your lashes so if you are trying to grow your lashes out that is crucial so important to grab again that's called the cleansing stick and actually this month our skincare some of it is on sale in the kudos the kudos is basically like our monthly deal every month it's something different it's a different bundle different savings all that um, this month it's awesome you get your choice of face mask including the brand new hydrating face mask, which is just launched. So my dry skin ladies, you're gonna definitely pick that up. You can even sleep in it. Um, the girls that had used it in the test actually experienced people who had super dry skin were experiencing normal skin within six weeks, which is nuts. All right, so now we're gonna use our Epic Waterproof Mascara, and I'm just gonna kind of dust this on the mid to the ends, just to make my lashes pop even more but also I love this applicator combs through your lashes really nicely and it makes your lashes waterproof hello hi Jen yay thank you fancy guys always thank you love your closet <laughs> thank you I know when it's your job it's hard to get rid of them <laughs> which mask is the best for wrinkles and sunspots definitely the brightening face mask Rhonda you're definitely gonna want that one all right, so now we're done with our lashes. So now let's do a really fun lippy, and then we're done. And then I'm gonna be doing an unboxing with Fancy um, for something brand spanking new. I'm super excited. I've been like sitting on this secret for far too long. <laughs> and I'm like a really bad secret keeper, so this has been really difficult. <laughs> I love that they use waterproof on the ends. Yes, it's such a good idea. Which, um, what shadows did you use today? So I used the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate and the shade Gingerly in the crease. All right, so now we're gonna take my favorite lip liner in the shade Prudent. We're gonna line our lips with this, which also helps them look more poutier, keeps your lipstick into place, keeps it from pre preventing it from bleeding, and helps to kind of hold your lipstick and make it long, last, last longer throughout the day. All right, so lip liner Prudent. So I start here on the bottom. Follow the natural shape of your lips, and then here on the top, just follow the natural shape. And I overdraw a little bit, which is basically I just take my lip liner and I put it on my actual lip line, like here, and then bring it back down, like where it should be, on the corners. So up on top, and then back down. And then I always kind of dust it through, just like so. All right, that was Prudent Lip Liner. And then now we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade uh, Sublime, which is one of my favorites. It's so good for every day. And we're gonna take that and 
pop that on and I love this applicator that you can get really precise application all right grab a little bit more and then the thinner you do it the more long-lasting it is like on your lips so less is more okay so then what I like to do is I like to take my ring finger and then just massage this kind of helps to blend it and make it look really soft on your lips. Um, she usually doesn't best on one. My lashes have to. So I don't line. I think this question's about my bottom lash line. I don't do mascara on the bottom because I use our steam lash serum and my lashes have gotten so long from using it that it transfers. So I just line my under eye with um, eyeshadow. So that's all I do. For bleeding lips, lip liner, 1001% Bobby. Also, the liquid lipsticks are amazing. Uh, amazing. All right, so that was Sublime. And then lastly, to top it off, to kind of alter the color a little bit, we're gonna take the lip gloss, which I love. They're only $15 and they are super pigmented. They might as well be liquid lipsticks. They come with a little, where is it? <laughs> Touch up mirror. This is the shade Lucid. And this is gonna lighten it up a little bit. That's so pretty. Ah, I love it. All right, so that was Lucid. And there it is. There's our finished look. So this whole makeup look would probably take me maybe 20 minutes if I wasn't live. Yeah, so if you guys need any recommendations, if you guys need any help picking out any product, just send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. Um, and if you have any questions on skincare or anything, this hair is really annoying me. <laughs> If you have any questions on skincare, dark circles, lines on your under eyes, you name it, just send me a message. What do you do, Kristen said. So on my under eye for, I think she was talking about mascara, I just line my under eye with eyeshadow instead of mascara. So it gives the illusion of it. It also makes your top lashes look even longer because they're not kind of um, being overpowered by the bottom lashes. So just a little trick if you want to try it um but like i said message me if you guys need any help i will be live with fancy to finally spill the secret and show you guys um a really 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 cool product and then i will be live with top shelf wardrobe a little bit later to do a fun try on so i will see you guys in just a few minutes make sure you stick around here stay put on facebook i'm gonna pop off pop right back on see you in a minute bye